Hey all dinosaurs and fellow boys and girls, I am Dan and today I have a super super huge box of new figures to show you guys. This just arrived today. It is like a huge Christmas gift for myself, so I'm really excited. Let's unbox this together, shall we? Are you a dinosaur yet? Subscribe to become one now. Okay guys, so I'm gonna use a pen knife to cut this box open up. Please do not use a pen knife at home by yourself. Have your parents to help you, okay? Let's do this. Okay guys, so the box is open up and it's now time for us to see what's inside, okay? Okay, the box is actually filled with protection cardboard. Another piece right over here. Okay, this is like a checklist. Um, next, what is this? Oh, this is cool. This is like a box of mini dinosaurs. So we will take a look at all these mini dinosaurs probably very closely in another video, but we shall have a look later on as well. Oh, I finally got this to complete my Terra by Batad dinosaur series. And this is a Nanshugosaurus. Very cool, it looks like if there is an Asaurus. Let's have a closer look at this later on. What's next? Okay, we have some Dino Plushies. Um, these are actually for Darius and Ariel. Very nice. Next, let's have a look. What's this? Oh, this is cool. This is a Carnotaurus. Carnotaurus Sestri. Crimson King, a 1S235 Rebar Dinosaur Figure, this is cool, I have this King T-Rex right over here, very awesome and hopefully I will be able to get more of this um, in the near future. Okay, let's see what else do we have, this is cool, this is a um, Sorrow Pelter. So we can finally make a nice 3D dinosaur in our figure transformed into an actual figure with this brand new one. Next, what else do we have? Okay, I've purchased this. This is like a dinosaur poster. Very awesome. I intend to put this poster um, next to my dinosaur shelf, which I will show you guys later on, okay? Next, what is this? Oh, I think this is a Dracorex. Yep, that's right. Dracorex. Awesome. Looks like a Pachycephalosaurus. What else are inside? Let's have a look. Oh, what is this? Um, I can't really remember. I can't really tell. Oh, it's a Rajasaurus. Oh my goodness, my first ever Rajasaurus. Awesome, let's move on. Oh, what is this? Magnetic brain teaser. This is going to be fun, okay? Um, what else? Oh, no more? Okay, it's time for us to take a closer look at all these wonderful figurines and um, collectibles. Okay, first let's have a look at this beautiful Nanshugosaurus. Okay, let me cut this open with a pair of scissors. Please be really careful if you're using a pair of scissors at home, okay? Cut this open. Okay guys, so this is the figure. Let's have a closer look at this. Very, very nicely done. You can see the yellow eyes, beautifully painted, very nice mouth, 
very well detailed body patterns. The skin texture is nicely done. Nice paint job. Very nice pose. Very neutral pose. I like it. So overall, this is um, a pretty cool figure. At the back of the box, you can actually find some information about this dinosaur. This dinosaur, Anchigosaurus, is considered to be part of the Therizinosaurus family, Ripper Lizards. Very awesome. Um, this is actually a herbivore slash omnivore. Okay, which means it feeds on both plants and possibly little insects and little animals. Okay, let's move on to the next item. Okay, the next item it's a fun box of mini dinosaurs. Okay, guys, the next item it's a fun box of mini dinosaurs for boys and girls. Okay, so basically, I've got this box so that I can actually give them out as mini surprises during a Christmas party. Okay, this is going to be fun. Let's have a look. So each mini dinosaur is actually individually wrapped. What do we have over here? Looks like we have an Apatosaurus. Um, this should be a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Another Apatosaurus. This could be um, a Corythosaurus. Hmm, what else do we have? A similar one, just a uh, different color. This is probably another T-Rex. Oh my goodness. There are only three different types. I can't believe it. Hopefully there are different types inside. Let's pour this out. Okay, we have a Dimetrodon right over here, which is not too bad. At least we have different species. Oh, we have a Stegosaurus. Nice. Okay, they are definitely not the most detailed minifigures, but I think they are really fun and they are individually wrapped, which is really cool. So kids will uh, enjoy opening them up. Okay, I think it's time for us to move on to the next item. Unless we are able to find a different species, I think this could be a Velociraptor. What else do we have? So basically that's it. So we have a Petasaurus, T-Rex, oh we have a Triceratops here as well, okay? Um Styracosaurus, I beg your pardon. Okay, let's move on to the next item. Okay, next item. Over here I have a um, dinosaur which looks like a Pachycephalosaurus. It is because this is actually part of the Pachycephalosauri dive family, okay? This is known as a Dracorex. And this dinosaur is found in the late Cretaceous period of North America. Let's have a look at this. This is a figure from Safari Limited. This is my first ever Dracorex. And I'm really happy with it. Oh my goodness. The details on this figure, it's amazing. Amazing. Which year um, was this created? 2012 Dracorex Safari Limited. Very awesome. So, this is also a herbivorous dinosaur. Awesome stuff. I love the amazing color combination. Check this out. Green right over here, and it has a um, orangey yellowish face, which looks amazing. This dinosaur has spikes in the back of his head and um, some really tough armor on top of his body. Nice. I like this. Let's place this over here and move on to the next item. Let's have a look at this one right over here. Okay, next item here. We have a dinosaur game. Let's have a look at this. Travel games by Wild Republic. Not a sponsored ad. I've purchased this myself. Pyramid Magnetic Brain Teasel. Pretty cool. Wild Republic 
um, logo right over here. At the back, let's have a look. Nothing much going on. Let's open this up. Oh, looks pretty cool. On the left hand side, you have a shot right up of uh, dinosaurs. Dinosaurs first evolved during the Triassic period between 245 and 208 million years ago. On the right hand side, you can see this um, triangular magnetic um, puzzle. Looks pretty cool. We have a Parasaurolophus, Ceratops, some plants below. Check this out. I think this could be an Iguanodon, a Stegosaurus, Velociraptor, or probably a Deinonychus. Looks kind of cool. I shall play with this um, in my next video of a uh, Dinosaur Surprise X, shall we? Okay, let's move on to the next item. Okay guys, so next figure. I know you guys want me to open this Carnotaurus from Rebar, but I will leave this to the end of the video. So let's open this up. Okay, what do we have over here? We have a figure from Collecte, and once again, not a sponsored video. We have a Rajasaurus. Cool. Rajasaurus is actually a theropod, um, a Balisaurian dinosaur discovered in India. Let's have a look at this awesome stuff. This is my first ever Rajasaurus. Oh my goodness, it looks brilliant. Nice. Rajasaurus is actually known as the king of lizards. Okay, not tyrant king, but just king of lizards. Very nice. Awesome stuff. Let's have a look. This is from Collecte as well. Oh, this dinosaur has very, very short arms as well. With some really cool thorns. Um, a horn right in the middle of his head. Hmm, cool. Very cool. I wonder if, if this figure can stand well. Um, try on the floor, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna place this Rajasaurus on the floor and see if this can stand well. This is a very flat floor, just in case that you guys do not know. Oops. So this guy, oh, he can stand. Cool. Very cool, but with, you know, a lot of balancing required. So it's definitely not very stable. Yep, you have to really, really place it, you know, on a sweet spot. It is so difficult to balance this, okay? As you guys can see, it is not easy, okay? But once you get it, it is fine. Okay, let's move on. Okay, over here, I have a bag of plushies, okay? Check this out. They are from... Oh! Some of them, oh, they are actually from Natural History Museum. Produced by Wild Republic as well. So one of them, okay, one is for Darius, which is, um, I think, should be this one. Let's have a look at what is this. This is a T-Rex. I know Darius loves T-Rex, so this is for him. A carnivorous T-Rex. Very cute. Natural History Museum. T-Rex 8 centimeters plush toy. Oh, so it comes with some facts. T-Rex was one of the largest meat-eating animals ever to live on land. Awesome stuff. Very cool. This will definitely make a great Christmas gift. Oh, of course, I have to wish you guys Merry Christmas. Oh my goodness, I didn't wish you Merry Christmas right from the beginning. That's fine. And the Stegosaurus, it's for Ariel Mimi. Okay, she loves herbivorous dinosaurs. Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus was one of the largest member of the Stegosauria. Was the largest, okay, member of the Stegosauria. 
group reaching a length of nine meters. Awesome stuff. Okay, so Stegosaurus is for Ariel, Mimi, and this is for myself, Utah Raptor. Okay, <laughs> pretty cool. Let's have a look. Utah Raptor is related to Velociraptor and Deinonychus, but at 6.5 meters long was much larger than its cousins. Very cool. So Utah Raptor is bigger than a Velociraptor and a Deinonychus. Awesome stuff. And it's time for us to move on to our last item. Oh my goodness. I totally forgotten about this. So it's time for us to move on to the Sorrow Pelta. Okay, our next figure, the Sorrow Pelta. Let's rip this open up. Okay, let's have a look. A beautiful figure from Safari Limited. As you guys know, a Sorrow Pelta it's um it's actually a genus of notosaurid dinosaur from the early Cretaceous period of North America. This dinosaur is known as the Lizard Shield. Um, the length of this is about 17 feet long and weighs about 3,000 pounds. That is pretty, pretty huge and heavy. And check this out. Um, the weight of it is largely due to all this bony armor. Okay, very tough, very cool. Let's have a look at this. This is actually a 2015 figure. Sorrow Pelta. My first ever Sorrow Pelta figure, if I'm not wrong. Awesome stuff. Gonna remove this. Okay, remove the shackles. Now you are free to roam. Okay, I'm really excited. I'm gonna place all these, you know, figures into my dinosaur shelf. For the time being, a new shelf will be completed somewhere in January. I'm really, really excited. Okay, it's time for us to finally take a close look at the Carnotaurus Sestri. Okay guys, final figure of the day, Connell Taurus Sestri, Crimson King from Reebok. Let's have a look at this, beautiful box as usual, all the different dinosaurs you can get from the Reebok collection, very awesome, I have um, the Tyrannosaurus Rex and hopefully I'll be able to get the Acrocanthosaurus very soon, I love this a lot, oh this is nice. So many different cool dinosaurs. Let's have a look at this. Yep, nicely protected with a styrofoam, with a foam casing. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> okay, nice. So you have a cut, an information cut on the Conotaurus. Some fossils, you have a, this comparison. Okay, the Conotaurus is actually way smaller than a T-Rex, as you guys can see in um, the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom trailer. Let's have a look. Let's open this up. Oh my goodness, very cool. Let's have a look at this base first. Oh, it is so tightly packed. Okay, let me just remove this from. Awesome stuff. The spikes are actually jutting out from its packaging. What about this rock? This platform right over here. It's really slippery. Check this out guys, so beautiful. Conotaurus Sestri. Crimson King. This is actually a 2017 figure. Oh, I didn't know this. So you can basically place the Conotaurus on top of this rock. Okay, it's time for us to open this up. Conotaurus Sestri. What is this? Oh, this is actually like a bent. I've thought for a second, I've thought this is like a paint job. <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay, let's have a look at this. 
Oh, I'm so excited. I'm really, really happy with this. Connor Torres says 3. Wow, this is so awesome. Is this jaw movable? Let's have a look. I think so. Awesome. Okay, is this like the maximum you can open? Not too sure. Very, very slight opening. I don't want to force it too much. So let's have a closer look at this. Okay, the Conotaurus is known as the meat eating bull. A carnivorous theropod dinosaur with really, really short arms. Can you move the arms? Oh my goodness, you can actually move the arms. Nice, very, very nice touch. Check out the fingers, the claws I mean. So tiny and so well detailed. The skin texture is very um, reptile-like. Just like the skin of um, a crocodile or an alligator. Amazing creases right at the bottom. You can see some muscle definition. Some nice little bumps. Some thorns. All the way from the... The top of, um, I mean, this portion right over here, all the way across the back to the end of the tail. Very, very nice. I love this. Okay, very nicely painted. Very nicely painted. Amazing stuff. Let's have a close look at the face. Okay, the eyes looks amazing. Golden shiny eyes. Um, there's a. It's not very nice, not very, very well painted right over here, as you guys can see. A slight smudge, but I'm fine with it. Not uh, very obvious, but overall this is so cool. Let's place this on top of this little, looks like a volcanic rock. Okay, it definitely looks like a volcanic rock. I'll place it like this. Wow, this looks so, so cool. The top of it actually reminds me, um, it actually looks very snake-like. Take a look at this curve. Very snake-like. Gorgeous. This figure is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, it looks brilliant. Okay, I think it's time to wrap things up. Over to you, Dan. Okay guys, so these are all the items from today's video, okay? Um, I'm gonna let you guys know which is my most favorite item. It is definitely the Conotaurus, okay? Followed by Nanshigusaurus. Um, no. Followed by Sauropelta. And the third item, I'm gonna go with the three plushies, okay? Okay, what about you guys? Which is your most favorite item in this video? Please let me know down in the comment section below. Okay, if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up, share it, drop me a comment, and I will definitely reply to you. I am Dan. I upload dinosaurs and animal videos every single day. So make sure you subscribe if you like dinosaurs and animals. I am Dan. Signing out now, I'll see you guys tomorrow, but before you go, as usual, check out the previous video right over here, and other recommended videos for you guys, okay? Thanks, I'll see you guys tomorrow, goodbye.